Hi there, Sue Sigaris here and Happy New Year to you. I wanted to talk today about a, um, an experience and learnings that I've had myself in the last few weeks. Rather than conversations with clients, I'm going to talk a little bit about conversations with myself and with people who are very close to me. And I realise that there's so much to say about this, I really need to break this into a series. So this is the first of several and really I just want to lay out the topic. And so the topic is, you know, rewarding relationships occur when we learn to make the bridge between being reactive and actually relating. How do we, how do we bridge that chasm from reactivity to truly relating? If you don't know what I mean by reactivity, it's um, those times when you're feeling stressed, a bit put upon, you're very focused in your work, you're dealing with the same old thing and it's getting to be a bit annoying when you hear the same old um, things coming from the other party and you haven't really got time to deal with them and you're not paying attention to what you really need and what the other person really needs. We're just getting on with stuff. And sometimes the communication that occurs in that context is what we call reactive. And it can be um, things like short sentences, feeling irritated, um, you know, even getting a bit angry because you've been interrupted and then feeling guilty about it and then later on feeling isolated and not very happy. So that's the reactive state. The relating state is where we feel actually connected, re rested and relaxed, reassured by the other person's presence and really happy to know that there's another human being right here who actually sees me, who hears me, who's listening to me and who I can tell the truth with. Um, we all crave that kind of connection, don't we? And yet at the same time, we're all trying to do everything incredibly well. So there I was trying to do everything incredibly well and being quite reactive. As I said, um, the other person involved had some issues of their own to deal with and they didn't have a lot of time for quality conversation either. So we get into these habits. I was able to break through that and, find, and discover the bridge from reactive to relating. And I wonder if you can guess what was in that bridge. It actually talked, it actually required risk. And I took some risk in terms of being more transparent, more truthful and more trusting. And as a result of doing that, I was able to access some true emotions that were happening for me, true feelings, and express those. And yes, it involved tears. So sometimes taking the risk to trust, to tell the truth, and to express our emotions does involve the tears, which can be very cleansing, and they can also lead to laughter. And there's a whole lot more I can talk about with this, but we're at our three minutes, we're well, just over, and I would like to finish this one off now and say please stay tuned for the next iteration, and I'll share with you a little bit more detail about how that bridge occurs and what to find in that, what to look for in that context, as well as the benefits of um, getting to the other side.